So John Hill texted me the other day and he was like, hey, do you want to check out some of my new hoodies? And I was like, yes. I'm just gonna open it right quick. I'm very, very excited for these two hoodies. Let's open this one first, a white hoodie. It's gonna be the one that I wear on all my hot dates. I love Mario's reaction. He just looks at me like, what dates? <laughs> All right, so let's open this up. Dude. So this is the window boy white hoodie. Mario was asking me about the meaning behind him being in a window and having a chain on him. I recently just took a class at school that was about analyzing film and symbolism and it did not help me in this circumstance. <laughs> And we got this, the PD logo black hoodie. And on the sleeves, it says Progress Daily. As you can tell, I uh, love the color black. It's gonna go perfectly in my skateboarding repertoire. I very much appreciate you sending me all of this stuff. If you guys wanna check out John's Progress Daily merch, please go to the website, imjohnhill.com, amazing name. The link will be in the description below. Please go check it out. John, we miss you here at the Braille House. We all want you back here soon. Please, if you can, make a trip from New York or wherever you are traveling. I know you were in Vegas a second ago, so uh, come through, man. We miss you, thank you so much, and we will see you guys next time. All right, guys, we're here today with Fetty Potter. At Fetty Potter on Instagram, and you can go follow him, and we're gonna do a... Well, I guess Gettlebird disaster. That sounds to me like a disaster. <laughs> So what do you think? Should we make wagers on how many tries this will take? I think he's gonna get it pretty quick. Well, he is a hard flip disaster. Yeah, I do hard flips. <laughs> Gabe got scared. You know what? I want to see Fetty like this. Hard flip, nose, reverb. <laughs> oh! I think the whole ramp almost credit carded me. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, I didn't get that. Oh, it's like a hard flip. Yeah. No, just don't even, don't do that, Fetty. Oh. <laughs> count it, count it, yeah. Here we clean that up a little bit. Just a tad. Yeah, we're gonna need that to chop my toe off. Yes. Best try yet. I had to take a breather from that last one. Did you hurt your toe? Yeah, I triggered it. Triggered the toe. Yes. I know the right pop, you know? And like, the last one wasn't good, the one before that. It's like a very precise feeling when you're going up the ramp to do a, a hard flip and land. So when that happens, it's because my body was like crooked or something, I don't know. It's hard because I have to drop in with my feet already in hard flip position, so that looks a lot like this. Like, back foot's here and this is here. So Let's get a good drop in first and then I can, then we can talk. Ah. We have toe aggravation. We're good, we're good. So I was riding the skateboard and the wheel just keeps falling off. Is it so, look at this. Look at the inside of those threads. I know you won't be able to see it on the camera. Completely stripped. It's completely flat. It works.
Oh, no, I'm gonna land it. White shirts aren't meant to be clean. Yes, now I can rest my toe in peace. <laughs> Wow! I love it! So good! I'm building a shop. Wow! Just wow! See, what I think is good about mini ramps is you can learn the easy tricks and then just add things to it. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's why I gotta learn the basic. Get Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 7. It will help you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Like. Follow Fetty's Instagram. And maybe you can follow Aaron if you want. It's up to you. And leave a comment below. Click on this playlist right here for all the videos in this series. Click here to get skateboarding made simple. It's the most comprehensive lesson plan ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. Go to BrailleSkateboarding.com. You won't be disappointed.